Hey guys, and welcome to the third and final episode of the ballerina workout. This workout is all about the upper body. Now I don't want anyone to get scared that by doing upper body they're going to get bulky or build overdeveloped muscles. This is just simply not true. As I explained in my previous videos that for various reasons, girls just can't build muscle at the same rate as men do. This is for various reasons. Things like hormones, food habits and genetics, it's just simply not possible. If you're still skeptical, then you just have to look at Christina in this video because she looks incredible and the results just speak for themselves really. Upper body is so important for girls. Your arms are like your picture frame. So to look your best in the studio and on stage and just in life, then you really need to focus on building this area. Also, think of all the ballets that you perform that require a lot of back strength. Ballets like Swan Lake, La Bayadere, really, really back heavy and back dominant. So by building strength in this area, you're gonna find these performances much, much easier on your body. As you will see in the video, this is not just an upper body workout. We do some leg circuits at the end. This is to improve stamina, to improve strength, and just to build really good conditioning. Again, this is all designed to improve your performances in the studio, on stage, in rehearsals, and just in life to be an overall healthier and fitter person. So guys, enjoy the workout video. Let me know what you think. Any questions, put it in the comments below or email me directly. Guys, if you have watched any of my videos, you will know that chin-ups are an essential part of my life. Go to any gym and you will find me hanging from a pull-up bar. I'm exactly the same with the way I train the girls. When I first started training Christina, I was having to help her with every rep and two months later she is busting out sets of eight with no problem at all. It just shows what you can do with a bit of dedication and hard work. I think pull-ups are an especially daunting exercise for girls as they are just so challenging at first. But as you can see, Christina now does these with ease and has a much stronger back and core for it. Next up, we are doing a bent over barbell row, supersetted with press ups. A superset is where you do two exercises back to back with no rest. These exercises should work two opposing muscle groups. So for example, with this superset, we are working the back with the barbell rows and then working the chest with the press ups. There are many benefits from performing supersets. Firstly, they save time by reducing the rest periods between two exercises. By shortening the rest period between sets, we will increase the intensity by performing more work in less time. This is especially true if you are used to long periods of rest between sets. This means that you are overloading the muscles leading to stronger muscles and also you burn many more calories as you are working at a higher intensity for longer. I love the bent over barbell row as it is not just a back or upper body exercise. If you watch Christina, you can see that the position she is in is working her glutes, hamstrings, lower back and hips before she has even started the exercise. The main goal of this exercise is to build strength in her back. This helps to improve her posture, her dancing and her pas de deux. It also develops her lower back strength, which is essential in protecting her spine, reducing her chances of injury. Now we are doing the second superset of this workout, which includes the standing banded chest press and the standing banded back row. Unlike free weights, resistance bands provide Christina with constant tension on her muscles. This is not possible with the use of dumbbells or barbells. This allows Christina to really focus on both the concentric portion of the movement, which is the lifting part, and the eccentric portion of the movement, which is the lowering part. Resistance bands will strengthen and elongate the muscle fibers. They also increase your flexibility tremendously. Resistance bands will stimulate the muscles in a manner that is impossible to do with the use of free weights by allowing you to perform much more controlled movement, keep constant tension on the muscles, and really emphasize on the concentric and eccentric portions of the movement. Resistance band chest press is a great exercise for strengthening your chest and arms. This exercise uses the resistance of the band to work against the pushing motion in order to strengthen your triceps, chest, and the fronts of your shoulder. 
This is also a great exercise for teaching your body to engage the core for stabilization. The second exercise in this superset is going to be a banded back row. This is such a fantastic exercise for developing back strength. You can see that every muscle in Christina's back is contracting and being worked with this movement. With this exercise, you should really focus on leading with your elbows as this will activate your back muscles the most. Although we do bent over barbell rows at the beginning of this workout, and with them being such a compound exercise, we can sometimes lose the emphasis on the back muscles, which is what we are trying to focus on in this workout. By also performing the one arm dumbbell row, we are really focusing on upper back strength in particular. The benefits of the one arm dumbbell row are that it allows Christina to direct all of her focus onto training her lats and mid back without having to use up additional energy from her legs and lower back. And secondly, it works each arm independently, which cancels out any strength imbalances. Now onto the last section of this workout. We are doing complexes. A complex is a series of lifts performed back to back where you finish the reps of one lift before moving on to the next lift. The barbell, dumbbell or kettlebell only leaves your hands after all of the lifts are completed. In other words, a complex is a circuit using one piece of equipment, one load and one space. The beauty of the complex is that you can do a tremendous amount of work and lift a tremendous amount of weight in just a few minutes. This kind of workload melts body fat increases conditioning, builds muscle, and possibly increases your fuel efficiency, and it does it all fast. For example, Christina is using a 12.5 kilogram dumbbell, or 27.5 pounds for my American friends, and she lifts it 40 times before she rests. This is a total volume of 500 kilograms, or 1,100 pounds, lifted in just two minutes. That is huge, and given her size and weight, that is a massive amount of work to be doing. This increases Christina's fitness in every aspect. She will be stronger physically, she will have a higher work rate, meaning she will be able to do more work in less time, she will be able to recover quicker, and she will also be mentally tougher as complexes are tough. All of this directly translates to her performance in the studio, in rehearsals, and on stage. Christina is performing 10 deadlifts, straight into 10 Romanian deadlifts, into 10 squats, into 10 swings. She does all 40 reps, rests 90 seconds to two minutes, and then does this twice more. Normally after this, we'll do some sort of abdominal exercise, whether that's the banded abdominal circuit or the power planks that you will see in the previous workout videos. And then that concludes this workout and the final workout of the girls week. So guys, that concludes this workout and the mini-series of the ballerina workouts. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed watching these videos and also that you've learned something from them so that you can take some of these things away and benefit and improve your own life. Please, please, please share these videos. I want as many people to see them as possible just so that people can be better and they can be better performers, better dancers, be fitter, healthier and also injury-free, which is so important in this career. Thank you so much for watching.